Okay, guys. Let's go. We already saw the little bit of giveaway with the thumbnail, and I already knew it. I am Reed, the eldest prince of Niffle. Yes, you are, eldest prince of Niffle. So, apparently, I was wrong about his color, because I was under the impression it was supposed to be one of each color. So, the thumbnail gave it away. It, it is indeed Creed. Perhaps the most undeserving Legend Hero so far, mostly because of the fact that in the story he didn't do anything, and we never saw him as a hero either, and then suddenly we were being introduced with him as a Legendary Hero when Book 2 has ended. Like, it makes so little sense in so many ways, but here he is. Also, that's the first time ever we've gotten two red heroes in a row, Legendary Erica and Legendary Creed. Well, two heroes of the same color in a row. I believe that's the case. Well, I didn't want... I kind of guess he would be an archer, and I know he's using a sword in his picture and everything, but still, it's it's based on the, the thinking that we would have four of each color, and we work by sets of 12. Um, not actually four of each color and 16, uh, but you, you know what I mean. It's supposed to be a set of heroes. Um, one of each color. At this point, colorless... I'm just going to announce it now. There's only one colorless legendary hero, period, and it is Grimma, and that, and that will always be the case. At this point, Ice has, has told us there will never be another legendary hero. Aside from Grimma. Anyways, let's, let's start with his skills. He has this encounter, and that's probably what casts everyone everyone's eyes right away, which is kind of weird, because usually, you know, heroes like this just have this encounter in their weapon. This also marks the first time ever that this encounter be, can be gained by anybody other than Hector. So, before it was Hector and VA Hector. And I guess Legendary Hector technically had it too, but he had a better version. Wait, no, Legendary Hector has it as well. Uh, it is Brave Hector. Anyways, you, you know what I mean. Um, anyways, let's get here. G. Joe. I, Norse names can't can't do it. Attack plus three. If a penalty inflicted by a skill like panic or threaten and or negative stats effect preventing counterattacks or restricting movement is active on foe, the unit makes a guarantee follow-up attack and foe cannot. So you should probably put panic ploy on him. No, it has to be inflicted by a skill. So attack smoke works too. Okay, that's really interesting. Um, the guaranteed follow up attack is cool. It could mean you don't need QR. It could mean you don't need to have more speed or anything like that. That's a very interesting weapon. Smoke abilities, panic abilities. I'm not sure if panic will work just by having panic trigger. Like, do you need to have the debuff ability on it? We'll see. Uh, Moonbo, which is great because, um, you know, Moonbo fodder is, is hard to come by. Uh, if you if you played the game like Abdallah, you will never you will never have enough Moonbo. <laughs> I'm joking, um, but no, seriously, it doesn't really matter what his special is. Everyone's gonna change it. So uh, it's just funny whenever we see Moonbo and Glimmer because you know they're pretty easy to get. Uh, this encounter we already talked about that freezing seal. It's a lot like Gun Throw in a way. At start of turn, if units HP is greater than fifty percent, inflicts attack speed minus six on foe on enemy team with blows res through its next action. Yeah, it's basically Gun Throw's ability. Attack smoke, that's fine. I mean, Kaze has it as a four star, so it's not exactly too valuable, but helps us his main uh, good Joel weapon skill. All right, it's not bad. It's a pretty decent kit, but I still question why he's the legend. Here. I should have called he was on a horse because I definitely could have guessed that. Ice upon you! Wow. And here is the rest of the heroes. Uh, Gun throws back even though she's dead. Uh, Grimma's back. It will always be Grimma. She will never leave. I thought to, I, I'm pretty sure this month is supposed to be her last month, but I said that every single month, so I don't even want to bother saying it's the last month anymore. Uh, He's red. Red, sword, wind. Ugh, jeez, it's so weird. All right, Kana. Uh, Ryoma, Nor. Okay, Nor's actually a pretty good archer. So glad she's back. Cordy's a pretty good cav as well. Glad she's back. Uh, Innis is whatever. Lucina. I might want to pull for Lucina. No, I'm going for Surter. That's right. Never mind. I can't summon here. It's, it's all in for Surter. Hey, Leviton's already here. Hold on. How can Leviton already be back? Wasn't she just... Okay, well, it's, it hasn't I have been like almost 300 months. jobs ready to get that plus 10 summer Cordy Nemia. Wow. 
Vic, aren't you happy, huh? Summer court. Hey, you sure you don't want to wait till next year? It might be better rate right that way because you have a better focus, but that's a long time to wait. Anyways, guys, uh, here's your heroes. I'll talk about it a bit more in a moment, but I just want to hear your thoughts. I did call Creed was going to be legendary hero. I called his weapon type wrong, but that was based on working on the assumptions of no two same color legendary heroes in a row. Um, actually, that might have been wrong anyways, but jeez, I didn't think he would be red again. I, I didn't think it would be another red hero. And I definitely didn't... This is so weird to me still. Is he the first of a kind? I think he is. Didn't you already get Surter Kappa? Yeah, but that was for a donation um, for a charity. All right, but uh, here we go. Let's break down the heroes. Um, are, yeah, yeah, real quick, guys. Are you pulling or are you not pulling? For me, I think Surter is still the best thing you can go for. Surter, you know, the the rate to pull Surter is crazy, and Surter is crazy good. And I just don't think Creed should have been Legendary Hero. I know some people are like, you know, it doesn't really matter. Uh, eventually, we'll get all the heroes, but at the rate we're going once one hero a month it might be three years down the row uh, before we get everybody again there's tons of great legendary heroes available that are not in the game that could be legendary heroes i mean it's just Reed hasn't done enough in the story and we never saw him fight and he's not been really interesting and book two's over this is probably a Reed from another world because if it's from the same world you know niffle is in a reconstruction period there are no more princes or print there are no more no one else left for the row of leading the country other than Creed. that's it um Fjorm wants to accompany kirin for as much time as she has remaining yogurt's like five and, and gunthra's dead and their mother's dead and uh it's pretty much well assumed the father's dead so he's the last remaining person to lead the kingdoms yet he's joining you for book three now so it's maybe from a different timeline but still this is weird action so yes a lot of you guys are, are pulling you know i'm kind of curious about that too a lot of people like Creed just from his voice but he sounds really nerdy to me i have nothing against nerds it's just that oh by the way um Creed's japanese voice that that's a great voice if you guys ever listen to him in japanese I can totally understand pulling for voice if, if it's in Japanese. But in English, no. <laughs> no. I can't do it. What's Japanese like? Listen to it. Uh, Xanax has it, has it up on his channel. and I, I'll post a link to it later on, I guess. But he sounds immaculate in Japanese. Anyways, real quick. Let's just break down the heroes. Um, and then we can go on with the group discussion. So right away, I think Blue. Uh, I think Creed's okay. I, until we see his stats, I can't really make up my mind there, but I think he's okay. But blue. Blue's stronger. Do you guys disagree here? Because with blue, you have Legendary Lucina, which I think is a better Legendary hero. Legendary Lucina is much more better for Aether Raids. All right? That's, that Future Vision ability catches people off guard and allows extra coverage. Not to mention, she's a Legendary hero as well. Uh, you have Brave Hector. Great hero as well. If you need distant counter, actually, no, that's different. He has hostage counter. Okay, you can't do that. That's different. But he's great, great blue hero. Um, I think he's the best lancer or second best lancer, but he's one of the best heroes in the game. Period. So, you know, great stats, stat spread, great skills, worth a lot of points. And then the final one is Cordy. Um, Summer Cordy. Summer Cordy being a blue lancer, she's probably a bit underwhelming for a lot of people, but. You know, her lance gives plus two everything when she attacks, and her she's naturally fast. I think she has 41 speed neutral. No, 38 speed neutral. When you do the refine, it's 41. And then when you attack, it's 43. So she's really, really easy to build. And she comes with, like, um, uh, it's attack and defense, I believe, when she attacks by four. So she's pretty good. So blue's first, from in my opinion. And then it's followed by reds. Red's also really strong. I mean, Freed's... I think until Freed's stats come out, I can't really say much about him. But I think he's really interesting. Um, he really needs a debuffer on a team, though. So if he has that, he's going to be a lot better better functional. But until we see his stats, I can't make up my mind. Uh, Leviton's amazing. It's basically Blade Tome for a sword. And, and then, you know, it doesn't really matter what else is there. Is because you just buffer up and she just one-shots everything. 
Um, she's also a great hero for Fortress Defense Res. Yep. And Ryoma, Legendary Ryoma. Uh, Kinshi Knight Ryoma is a fictional character that we made in the game thanks to Ayas, but um, it's a Legendary hero as well. And. He's basically Ryoma on a flyer, that's it. He has this encounter on his sword. And he doesn't really use Bushido very well, unless he uses fire sweep weapons. Anyways, I, I'm not that big of a fan of him, but his stat spread's really, really good. So he's a, he's a fine hero. Um, and then I think it is... You know what, I'll just say a tie. A tie for greens and colorless. Yeah, I think Gunthra is an okay hero. She's really interesting as a legendary hero, but not a lot of people have teams that use her correctly. I have her with Bunny Kateria, and I think that's probably the best partner for her. Uh, Kana, legendary, Ka sorry, not legendary Kana. Uh, female Kana is really good, fast speed, dr fast dragon, l like Faye, but faster. Uh, not really great offensively, water breath, uh, pretty good defensively. So yeah, she's fine. Speed dragons are interesting though. And then you have Innis who actually has really good stat, stat spread, actually, but yeah, I wouldn't worry about Innis. I mean, you, maybe you get his weapon to fodder it, but the beach banner is kind of weird. Uh, plus two to everything when attacking. And then Colas, you have two good archers, Nora and... Uh, how did I forget her name? She, she, she loves making Yaoi for her father. Nina, sorry. Okay, but she's also good. They're, they're both fine. And Legendary Grimma is actually really good too. Uh, at this point, people don't care about Legendary Grimma because she shows up every week. Not every month, not every week, but she's still a really good hero. Just we're forgetting that. This should be her last month. It was announced it'll be her last month. So she'll be the next. Uh, she shouldn't be there because we should have a colorist hero next month. But um, guys, you realize at this point we've gotten four red heroes sorry no sorry four fire heroes four um earth heroes four wind heroes and one no no wait no no that's not true whoopsies i messed that up um basically at this point the only things left are colors heroes but i don't think that's the way they're gonna go anymore anyways i made a mistake but there was a slot for um for wind and this is it that's the last slot for wind i'm not pulling i'm still going for surter i think that's amazing yeah it's just still just a week but yeah once again guys i think it, the strongest color is blue then reds then i i just i'll just say colorless between them colorless and um greens but yeah it's it's pretty close i wouldn't really put one over other but yeah that that is your legend of heroes banner first impressions uh i called greed but I, but I got everything else wrong. Still think he's a weird character to have here, but... Alright, he's here. I hope book three... I hope by book three we get back on track. Hopefully Alm is a legendary hero. Legendary Alm, Archer Alm, or uh, Elliewood is in the game. No, I, I don't think we can do Elliewood without a sword, so... I don't know, it's it's really weird now. It's only, it's not enough colorless heroes, so... Alright, anyways, that's that. Uh, let's Let's talk about it with everybody else now.